Alrighty guys, welcome to another episode with Handyman Dan. On today's episode we are doing a fuel filter on the coaster. So follow along, hopefully you learn some tricks and it will give you the confidence to do it yourself if you want to. Alrighty, now it's fuel filter time. So fuel filter is just here. So what we need to do, unconnect this. Unconnect that. Now this should just twist off. This will be full of fuel so. everything running back there we go yeah that stuff got collected up in that top rim so now we've got it off like this this tap on the bottom this whole assembly here unthreads just like so Just give it all a bit of a clean up. But it's all pretty clean, so we'll get the new filter. So now this new filter comes with a new o-ring for that bottom bit, so we'll do that. This is just the filter, so we'll pull this o-ring off. Let's get all this a quick little bit of clean, bit of a clean with a clean section of the rag. Pretty good to me. So now we get this new o ring, slip it on just like that. Perfect. New filter that just goes in, threads onto there, and then that was just done up pretty much as tight as you can get it, finger tight. About there. That's it. Easy as that, that's all sweet. Let's give all this a clean up. And we'll jump back under and put it on. So it just says to put a little bit of oil around the top of here on that gasket, so let's pinch a little bit. On top, just up here, you feel that there's a plunger, and all you do is just plunge away on that until it gets stiff enough that you can't press it down, and then that'll be it pre primed. So, I've given it about a good hundred or so primes, it's getting pretty firm. So We'll start her up and hopefully it's all sweet. Okay, so moment of truth. Perfect, it started instantly as well. So yeah, that was pretty perfect. Started straight away as well as it normally does. That means there wasn't any air or anything like that. We did pre-prime the fuel system properly. Um, we did enough pumps and got all the fuel to circulate through. So that's a win-win. So yeah, that's pretty much all it takes to do the fuel filter on a 1HZ. If you found the video helpful, please uh, like and subscribe as I've got more videos coming. And yeah, I hope it gives you the confidence to do your own fuel filter on your 1HZ, whether it be a coaster, troopy, whatever.